Hello boys and girls, my name is Miss Ali and today I will be giving you your next Eat Right Philly lesson. The last time you had a lesson you learned about oranges and clementines. Today we are going to be learning about something new. Let's take a look at the hints on the next slide to see what fruit or vegetable we might be learning about today. Here are your hints. This particular food is green. It is in the vegetable food group. It has a bumpy top and it tastes pretty bitter. Can you guess what it is? If you said asparagus, you are correct. Today, we are going to be learning all about asparagus. Now that you know that we will be learning about asparagus, let's see how they grow. Asparagus grows straight out of the ground. It is harvested by slicing the plant as close to the ground as possible. I bet you're wondering where asparagus grow. Asparagus mostly grow in the state of Iowa but the asparagus is believed to have originated in Greece over 2,500 years ago. It's time for a movement break. You've been sitting for quite some time now being such a great listener and such a great learner. I wanted to take a minute to help reset our brains so we're ready to learn more about asparagus. Follow along and do this fun movement break with me. I am a farmer and you are all seeds getting ready to be planted in the garden. Curl up on the floor like a seed nice and tight. A seed has all the parts it needs to grow into a plant. It just needs healthy soil, warm sunshine, and enough water. You are nice and warm in the soil. Can you feel the rain coming down from the sky? You are ready to start growing. Your roots grow down into the ground first to soak up the water. Wiggle your toes and begin to stretch out your legs. Now it's time for your stem to pop up out of the soil. Stand straight and tall with your hands at your sides. Next, stretch your arm out to the sun. These are your leaves and will make sunshine into food for all of the plant parts. Your flower grows next. Lift your smiling face to the sun. Your flower starts to make new seeds and on some plants, these seeds are protected by a fruit. Wrap your arms in a circle over your head to make the fruit of the plant. Let's start all over again. There are new seeds. The seeds grow new roots. Stems pop up. Leaves stretch out. Flowers smile to the sun. Fruits grow from the flowers and protect new seeds. I really hope you enjoyed that movement break. Now let's shake it out and get back to learning about asparagus. Asparagus are perennials, which means they grow back year after year. Asparagus are grown from one or two year old crowns planted in January or February. Then they are ready to be harvested in the months of May and June. I bet you're wondering why are asparagus so good for me? Not only are asparagus packed with vitamin C, which helps make a strong immune system to help fight off all those yucky germs and to heal any of those cuts and scrapes you might get when you're playing outside. They also are packed with vitamin A, which is really good to help maintain and build strong eyesight. There are so many delicious ways you can eat asparagus, but before eating or cooking, bend the spear and snap off the bottom portion. Did you know you can eat asparagus raw? It is usually eaten cooked, so if you don't care for it raw, try it cooked at home or at school. You can also eat asparagus roasted with olive oil, grilled, steamed, in pasta, raw on top of a salad, or even in soup. How will you try your asparagus? All right, boys and girls, that's all. Thank you so much for joining me to learn all about asparagus. I hope if you haven't tried it yet, you'll give it a shot after this lesson. Stay tuned for next month's lesson to see what fruit or vegetable you might be learning about. Goodbye.